but managed to get another control. All right, where were we? <laughs> All right, it seems like um, we are in <clears throat> the. Lord's Covenant. Okay, Abraham's Mars, Harkness, the old years. Alright, okay. Let's just start off at uh, verse 13. And he said unto Abraham, Now of a surety's surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge and afterwards shall they come out with great substance and thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace thou shalt be buried in a good old age but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again for the increase the iniquity, iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those pieces. All right, it's the title. The Lord's Covenant with Abraham. I think I've read the, the, those read about. I'm just going to read it again. Chat, uh, verse 18. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying unto thy seed, Have I given this land from the river of the Egypt unto the great river, the rivers Euphrates, the Canaanites, and the and the Kenizzites, and the Cad, Cadmonites, Cadmonites, and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, and the Raphaim, Raphaim, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Gargashites, and the Jebusites. All right, chapter sixteen. Sarai and Hagar. Now Sarai, Abraham's wife, bare him no children, and she had a handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said unto Abraham, Behold, now the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go in unto my maid. Wow. It may be that I may obtain children by her. Okay, that just made no sense at all. He's married and... Basically, she wants him to commit adultery with her permission to have a child for her. So that that might that might not go good with God, you know. That just might not go good with God. Well, let's see. And Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarai, and Sarai, Abraham's wife took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. Wait a minute. Uh, after Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. So he got a, he got two wives. Is that what am I reading this right? Hagar her maid 
And, and Sarai, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. So Abraham had two wives. Wow. That probably did not go good at all. And he went to under Hagar and she conceived and when she saw that she had conceived her mistress was despised in her eyes despised her mistress was despised in her eyes and Sarai said unto Abraham my wrong be upon thee I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. Oh, he's going to judge, all right. But Abraham said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt, oh, <laughs> dealt, dealt, and when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. I wonder what she's going to do to her, you know, because she's obviously, um, Thinking that she slept with them, um, she slept with basically her husband, and she gave him the authority to do that. So that's kind of freaky. But 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 but.